we rarely recognize the amazing spontaneity that lies at the heart of every encounter we have. Our ideas, including the ones we have about ourselves, other people, and the world, just seem to arrive when we pay close attention, which is at the core of true spiritual contemplative practice. We are unaware of how our hearts are working or how exactly we are breathing. We don't have to consciously remember to properly digest our food. All of this occurs without our conscious awareness since it is programmed into our body. What crosses the line between the conscious and the unconscious is what we are aware of. We become aware of something. We recognize the thought as soon as something from the unconscious gets through the barrier. Although everything seems to happen by accident, this is not the case. Underneath it all, there is an enormous complexity and in intellect at work. For the time being, let's just refer to it as the totality, the essential, the essence of who we are, and the essence of this moment. The portion of this totality that is currently breaking through the barrier of unconsciousness and becoming conscious is represented by the conscious experiences, which are the tip of the iceberg. The totality is so present at this time that is working. Whatever portion of the totality has consciously manifested, we are aware of it. Extending our awareness of what we are truly aware of is a crucial component of spirituality. We feel ourselves as the totality after a certain discovery or change in identification. Although we see ourselves to be the very origin, this does not entail that we are instantaneously aware of the endless linkages that give rise to even a single moment of experience. These links are too numerous. In a universe where everything is interconnected, they appear to be endless. Everything is a component of the process that creates each new moment. No mind could keep track of all those simultaneous interactions. Hence, even when we see ourselves to be the totality of our essence, we continue to be astounded by the complete and astounding spontaneity of that totality. Every movement is actually the movement of stillness, which may seem paradoxical. Movement is created by stillness, occurs inside stillness, and is finally resolved in stillness. The words I'm uttering are the origin and ultimately the entirety of consciousness in a similar manner. They leave that state of consciousness. They represent that consciousness in some way. In our essence, the unknown is a means of attempting to express the experience of the totality, according to many great spiritual teachers and realizers. Even the totality cannot keep track of every connection at all times. It is being all of that. It is being that. A teaching's potential for serving a sacred purpose is to inspire something within you that is alive, beautiful, and a part of us, something that goes beyond the teaching and the teacher. We start to approach any moment, possibly every moment, with a higher level of consciousness. Anything that invokes the sacred, whether it is through a spiritual message, a stunning work of art, beautiful music, or a nature stroll, has a similarity that is artistic beyond all comprehension. The natural world, where we practically walk, leave, and breathe in an improbably creative manifestation of existence, is the greatest work of art we will ever see or engage in. 
our consciousness is the catalyst that sparks everything and liberates everything. Even in the midst of everything that life is, including the tragedy, the difficulties, and all the unpleasant aspects, it enables us to have the eyes to see the divinity of it all. No facet of existence needs to be denied in order for us to discover its divinity. Our awareness, consciousness, has the capacity to perceive beyond the apparent aspects of things. It's not some vague notion of a cosmic eyeball watching everything. But all of a sudden, our entire body and intellect are involved in how consciousness works. We sense our surroundings in addition to seeing them. We feel it. Our entire body minds are basically a type of limitless sensory organ of true nature. Since it requires so much awareness and sensitivity to even start using it that way, it is true that the majority of people do not. But life or the universe does experience itself in this body-mind consciousness, and that is wonderful. The cosmos wouldn't have any experience of itself at all if it didn't have a body, mind, or consciousness to do so. If it isn't experienced at all, it wouldn't really exist. In spiritual teachings, we are urged to awaken from these bodies and minds and to stop identifying with them. This is extremely helpful and even necessary if we want to experience the fullest realization of our true nature. But in reality, all we are really accomplishing is letting go of the limited identification with them. It is unrelated to the effectiveness of the body's amazing organic system, either in the physical or subtle body. Given that it is how we experience life, this is something of enormous worth. Life is being experienced in this way.